It is 724, so it's time to talk to Jane King at the NASDAQ in New York. Indiana is a strong state for small business. Jane, good morning. That's right, Scott Kelly. Good morning, Indiana. A top 20 state for small business job growth in February. Now, Paychex Solutions also says small business workers in the state saw about a 2% bump in their wages. Small businesses nationwide are continuing to add jobs as well, although they're down from a year ago. It is up for three straight months. That, in fact, the past three months marked the longest string of job growth in increases for small businesses in about three years. Well, doctors say medication fog can mimic or worsen dementia. About 91% of people over 65 take at least one prescription medicine, and 41% use five or more. Now, doctors will often de-prescribe medicines that may longer not be needed or that once may have been okay, but now are causing problems. The list includes certain types of muscle relaxants, antihistamines, allergy medicines, stomach acid remedies, antidepressants, uh, depressants, anti-anxiety, medicines, pain relievers, and sleep aids that can make the symptoms of dementia worse. Well, the fuel efficiency of the U.S. auto fleet hit a record in 2018. It averaged 21, 25.1 miles per gallon in real-world driving. That's according to the EPA. Now, the Trump administration is working to roll back those stricter Obama-era rules for cars and trucks, which is an effort to make vehicles less expensive. And Salesforce dramatically scaling back employee travel and putting the kibosh on in-person company events as well because because of the coronavirus outbreak. The company also said it will implement a number of safety precautions for the entire month of March. Salesforce said restrictions on travels and events will last for at least a month and they will continue to monitor the situation as well. Well, the Dow yesterday lost nearly 800 points even as the Federal Reserve issued a surprise interest rate cut. So the Fed said uh, the coronavirus was a risk to the economy but uh, did not convince investors. Different story today though. At the moment we're looking up almost 700 points. So what I'm hearing from some of these analysts that write overnight notes about the market is that the surprisingly strong performance of Joe Biden at Super Tuesday giving the markets a lift this morning is uh, Bernie Sanders. So some of his policies were not seen as market and business friendly. So uh, the market's having a bit of a relief rally today. We'll see what happens. Scott and Kylie, back to you. Uh, you've got a new gauge of, of the gender pay gap sort of through families. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So nearly half of women now earn as much or more than their partners. This is according to a survey from TD Ameritrade. 21% of women surveyed said they make more than their partners. 26% said they made the same amount. Okay. I don't know. It's different for all families. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it all goes in the same pool. Yeah, right? it does. That's, that's, the, my key. House. that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, thank you. It is 726. Our team